Hello and welcome to I haven't washed my hair in one week. I can do whatever I want. I feel like you can always tell how someone's doing by the way their lips look and mine are pretty crusty today. So let's put myself on camera and see how that goes. I have finished my sixth and final round of chemo. Is this dancing? I don't know what this is. This is like seizing. I am processing a lot of emotions around all of it. I have been also restless with the idea of valuing my health in a new way. Ever heard of it? Because it has been compromised over the last four months. When the compromisation ends, I'd like to take authorization to lead a much more nourishing life. And throughout this process, I've looked up like recipes for cancer patients, which is kind of like a tough thing because one, my taste buds have changed dramatically. Like expected flavors don't taste expected. And two, everyone's tolerance of what they can handle in their gut is different and I still don't know exactly what like my stomach can tolerate and what it can't. So the other day I got on one of my, uh, Welcome to my brain. There'll be a lot of jump cuts in this video because my brain truly is operating at a lower function. That's why we edit. This is why we don't twitch. The other day I got on one of my search benders that yields no real results because a lot of times I just spend a while searching recipes and then I don't actually make them, but not this time. I found this list on eatingwell.com of uh, recipes to eat when you have cancer. And I don't know really what qualifies these things to be on this list other than like, there's some vegetables in some of these things. So that prevents cancer according to some research. I scrolled down the list and a smoked Gouda broccoli soup caught my eye because it had pretty good reviews. And then when I looked at the reviews, I saw this one as the first one. I have had many broccoli soups. This one I did not care for, lacking in flavor and frankly, just yucky. I love and appreciate food and never waste. This was a waste of time and good ingredients, obviously. My interest was peaked. So I got all the ingredients to make this smoked Gouda broccoli soup. And then I decided to film it because I've been very isolated <laughs> and somehow this makes me feel less isolated. I wanted to bring you along for this ride to see if this smoked Gouda broccoli soup was actually a waste of time and ingredients or not. We're doing a cooking video. Back in the kitchen where I belong because I want to cook and I can't do it in the bathroom. Okay, I had to start cooking this because I'm gonna get tired. That is one of the things that has been so goofy. I get excited about something and then it makes me very tired, like a child. <laughs> it seems relatively easy, but you know I love to overcomplicate seemingly relatively easy things, like that sentence even. Okay, it took me what felt like an entire hour to set up this shoot and my camera already died. It's just too many things to think about and I'm just simply not a detail-oriented person. Let's make a soup. Broccoli, sweet onion, garlic, smoked gouda, chicken broth, white wine vinegar, flour, and then smoked paprika and some other shit. Heat a tablespoon of oil in a large saucepan over medium heat. We're gonna add the onion and cook, stirring for about five minutes. Chop an onion. I don't like a lot of onion because that's one of the questionable things that I don't know if my stomach can handle. Same with garlic and broccoli. So this <laughs> is gonna be quite a soup. This is an experiment on a lot of levels. Chopping, I know, I'm even nervous for you watching me do this. It's gonna go in a saucepan and cook for about five minutes. Oil goes in the pan. We'll put our onions in the saucepan. Am I okay? <laughs> in the middle of that sentence, forgot how to make a cooking video. Okay, we're putting the onions in. Onions are cooking. Let's chop up our broccoli. One and a half pounds broccoli crowns, two medium. Two mediums? Can you tell me what my grandfather's up to? Because he's dead. Nailed it. Do we just chop them? We just chop them. Do we use the stems? I've become wildly unconfident with my own Intuition, by the way. Cut one and a half cups broccoli, bite-sized broccoli florets and set aside. Coarsely chop remaining broccoli. <laughs> I mean, it's all gonna get mixed up in a blender anyway. This recipe leaves some of the broccoli chunks and doesn't blend it all, but I might blend it all. I should clean this. Doing things in the kitchen is like so cumbersome. How do people do this all the time? It smells great. We gotta chop our garlic. I'm just gonna do one clove. Ooh, it's a big clove. Sorry for my nose running. Is that gross? I'll find out when I edit it and I'm like, damn, that's gross. Damn, that's gross. 
Let me get the flour and the paprika ready, because they're gonna go in after the garlic goes in for 30 seconds. Trader Joe's smoked paprika, so basically I'm better than you. Look how quirky and cool and interesting I am. I have nothing against Trader Joe's. I'm projecting, Trader Joe's intimidates me. We need a tablespoon of flour. We'll just leave that in there. <laughs> I'm gonna put the garlic in with the onion. Garlic goes in. Garlic goes in for 30 seconds. Is this audio film recording? Garlic goes in for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna add a tablespoon of flour and a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika for what? And then stir to coat. Then we're gonna add chicken broth. Four cups of low sodium chicken broth. Flour's in. Where's the paprika? I'm eyeballing it. That's a lot, I think. Wow, it smells really good. Four cups of chicken broth. There's four cups in one of these. I don't need this. Oh my God. I should be filming what's happening in this thing. I'm turning my oven on because I'm gonna make croutons. We have to add the chopped broccoli. I'm just adding all of the broccoli. Do we add all of the broccoli? Oh God. I think I add all the broccoli. I'm just adding all the broccoli. This seems like way too much broccoli. Broccoli. Would you like to see this mishap? Here's what's going on in here. That doesn't seem correct. It's all gonna get bland. Okay, they've settled in more. I'm okay with this. It smells smoky, I will tell you that. Bring to a boil over high heat and then reduce to a gentle simmer and cook stirring occasionally until the broccoli is tender eight to 10 minutes. Was I supposed to use this part of the broccoli? I'm not going to, but I'm gonna not throw it away because I just like to look at a potential mistake. Just move it out of the way. If you're unsure about something, just move it out of the way, but keep it in your peripheral vision so that gentle hum of anxiety, that familiar hum of anxiety never leaves your side. We're gonna make some croutons. This recipe suggests rye bread for croutons. I'm just using a baguette. You can do it. <laughs> No, I'm okay, I'm okay. Just put some olive oil on them. I'll put some salt and pepper on them, I don't care. My taste buds do not know what's going on. We will bake those in the oven soon. One cup of shredded smoked gouda, so we need to shred our cheese. Look what I have. Ah, oh, I'm a domestic goddess. Can you eat this rind part? I ate it. Oh, that is good. Oh, that is good. I don't know what I'm tasting, but that is good, I think. I don't know if you're supposed to eat the rind now that I just did that. Oh, this is, oh, oh, what do I do? Bubbles are happening. I just got out of breath from doing that little dance. See, this is what happens. Shred some cheese. Oh, it got under my fingernail. That's disgusting immediately. This is how we get our strength back. Come on, baby. You're a big, strong girl. That's best, cut me off. Bread goes in. So after this cooks for 10 minutes, we're gonna puree it in the blender. That has struggle written all over it. Look at this maternal instinct, like holding a baby. Does this even do, how does this even work? Oh, it goes this way. All right, we're in business. When the soup is done, we're gonna blend it in the blender, put it back in the pot, that's the right word, and then we're gonna mix the cheese in with it. That sounds nice. I am a little curious to make more cancer-friendly recipes and see if they're actually good because I'll tell you what, when you look up cancer-friendly recipes, they're a little unsexy, I'll say that, but that doesn't mean we should discount them. Mmm, that is good. I think. I think I might be ready to blend, but that is such a commitment. I'm gonna blend. Oh, that's just all liquid. Oh, sh Okay, here we go. Ah! Okay. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, that looks pureed. It's a bit runny. Let's try putting the cheese in now. It's very thin. My soup is very thin. Oh, and the bread. Okay, those have croutons. That cheese went in pretty quick, and it is still a very thin soup. I need two tablespoons of vinegar, white wine vinegar, and salt and pepper. I'm eyeballing it. I think maybe I was supposed to add the whole broccoli. <laughs> because it is a bit thin, this soup. But I think that's okay, because that's what soup is. Runny, right? Soup is runny and liquid. This is very liquid and runny. Wow, I'm mesmerized by it, though. The cheese isn't fully melted. Cheese hasn't fully melted into it. Here, come, come look at it. See, here's our soup. Look at that. The cheese isn't fully melting in it, and I don't know how to make it melt in it. I, maybe I poured it all too much too fast. Or maybe this is just okay. I think I was supposed to put this in there. I think this is what gives it the thickness. You know, I really wasted this. I'm still gonna pour myself a cup because this looks, it still looks good. Okay, let's throw some croutons on. Ooh, here it is. Can you, oh. There you go. Wow, very runny smoked Gouda broccoli soup. 
because that clearly was supposed to go into the soup and didn't. Yes, we've made some clear mistakes by omitting basically like 80% of the broccoli from this recipe. But I'm still hopeful that this might taste okay because guess what? My taste buds don't know the difference. This was a waste of food in some ways. I gotta get a crouton in there. Okay, it tastes like runny broccoli soup. Very runny broccoli soup, but it's pretty good. Mmm, flavors are delicious. And you know my palate loves some good flavor. I think this is really delicious. Had this made it in, probably would have been a plus. The croutons help. It's not bad. I don't hate this and this wasn't a waste. Hooray! And that first comment, you know, to each their own. I have to go rest now because this did make me a little tired. Ooh. Ooh, what is that kick in my mouth? I bit down on a peppercorn. Ah, ooh, a little firework in the lower <coughs> left-hand region. <coughs> wow, the soup is just surprising. Okay, we need to go now. We must rest. Thank you for watching this video. If you want me to make more cooking videos, I think I would really love to. The kitchen has been upgraded and is prime and ready for it. So just let me know. Other than that, I don't know. I really don't these days. I have to throw this in at the end. It's nighttime now, it's like 7 p.m. I put the soup in a Tupperware. I went into the refrigerator to open the Tupperware to get myself some more soup to heat up. It smelled god awful in the house. So that's a little side effect of this soup. And uh, Elliot told me he came in and tasted it when I didn't know and he did not like it at all. So, soup updates. It smelled too bad for me to heat up and make again. So, it was good though, I think, when I tried it earlier. I think. We tried.